Hey folks, and welcome back to the channel for another Project Zomboid video. I've got to say I really debated with myself whether I wanted to make this one because I know it'll naturally stir up a lot of conversation in the comments and potentially get some negative feedback even. But it's been on my mind a lot recently and with some of the comments I've been getting on my videos and in my Twitch chat, I thought it was just worth addressing this to see what everyone else thinks and whether the majority agree with me on my thoughts. So in this video, we'll be talking about Project Zomboid's development process. The aim of this video is to both educate and promote healthy discussion around Project Zomboid and how it's developed, the frequency and substance of its updates, and what levels of testing are completed along the way. If you watch this video and think I'm an idiot or I'm jumping to the defense of the developers, then that's absolutely fine. I'm prepared to take that sort of criticism, but bear with me and hear me out before you start making comments. If you do find yourself enjoying the video or you find it educational, then do be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I do a bunch of Project Zomboid videos, guides, info, tips, gameplay, that sort of thing. So if that's your bag, check out my other videos. So to give a little bit of background context to where we are in present day, Project Zomboid was first put on Steam in early access in 2013 as part of the Greenlight program. At this time, around five or six individuals were working on the game, and it's been almost eight years since we first saw Project Zomboid on Steam. Now, this had a lot of people upset even today, and understandably, there's a lot of disappointment around how long Project Zomboid has taken to develop. And I'm not about to tell anyone not to be upset but it's important to look at how far Project Zomboid has actually come in that time. If you were to look back at this game five years ago, it looks completely different to today. The team now has about a dozen individuals employed to work on the game, and we've recently seen one of the biggest updates to Project Zomboid ever seen in the fact that Build 41 came out. A lot of the player base is coming back, and a lot of new players are joining, but there are a lot of people that are also worried about when the next updates will be, like multiplayer, NPCs, that sort of thing, and some of these features we've been waiting on on for quite some time already. Now, the truth is that we don't know when these features are going to be available, but there are some fantastic ways to stay up to date out there that aren't utilized by the majority of players, which leads to confusion and the misconception that the game isn't being worked on at all. Sometimes I get people in my comments in the YouTube channel or dropping by on Twitch and not knowing that there's been some updates that have been passed or not knowing that some bigger features are available, that sort of thing. Even people that still don't realize that Build 41 is even there to be played. So my point here is if that you're not really in the loop, you're going to think the game is stagnant. Get on their Discord, keep checking the Thursdoid blogs and even their forums if that's for you, and I'll leave links to all three in the description of this video, and hopefully this will mean that more of the player base is following development updates, and maybe you'll learn a thing or two that you didn't know already. Now, 10 years ago, we would never have seen the development process of games, and most games that made it to full release had the backing of investors or publishers to fund both development and marketing strategies. This allows for larger teams with experts in all areas, which dramatically speeds up the development process, and even then, some of these games would take years to create. Now we have Steam Early Access, which allows indie development teams to create games, sometimes for the better and sometimes for the worse, by acquiring funding during development and presenting backers with the chance to play the game that's still in development. Again, there's no denying here that Project Zomboid has taken a long time to develop so far, but it's emphasized by the fact we are seeing every single step of the journey along the way, and this is what we signed on for when buying the game in Early Access. Now the hard truth here, and I'm going to get some negative comments with this one I'm sure, is that if you're not prepared for a wait like this one, you shouldn't be purchasing any games in Early Access at all. No Man's Sky had the backing of Sony and still took three years, Cyberpunk, nine years, Starcraft 2, seven years, and even Team Fortress 2 took nine years to make. The list is pretty expansive, but good things take time, and even with AAA titles, there's no guarantee that they'll be good when they're finished. Once again, I'm not trying to say that this game hasn't taken a long time to make, because it has, but just remember that you're looking at an indie game in early access. Next, I wanted to briefly cover the team's development process to give you guys a bit more insight and help understand how this works. So, Project Zomboid has several internal builds that the developers are working on that, of course, we don't have access to. Once a feature is considered ready for testing by a closed group, there are two more builds available to a select few that can test these features and provide feedback. From there, it goes to the beta branch, which is the build that most of the player base are playing on currently, and then finally the full version. 
Now, if you're one of those detectives that likes to go scouring for reasons to be upset about something, you might also know that there's several other versions visible on SteamDB. These are used to test specific features like Noiseworks Audio or Multiplayer. There are a few people out there that think they're debunking a massive conspiracy when they say that these versions haven't been updated in a few months, according to SteamDB. I want to stress at this part that these builds are only ever updated when there is a reason to update them on Steam. The developers do not need these versions to be updated on Steam to be working on them. They have their own versions. Quality assurance is a rare thing in the world of indie development, as it can understandably cost quite a bit of money or prove a risk to the secrecy of future updates when games are in early access. The Project Zomboid team, however, has a number of people, myself included, that test features ahead of release and provide both feedback and highlights bugs. And whilst it isn't quite up to the standard of professional QA, I'm sure it certainly helps them in their development process. And this shows in their features that reach the main build. It's very rare that something gets that far and either isn't in a good state or has game breaking issues because it's been through a number of stages before it reaches that point. The quality we receive in the full build is pretty damn good as far as I'd say. I'm going to compare this to Squad, an immersive FPS game much like Hell Let Loose or Postscriptum. Squad puts out its larger updates onto a test branch for the odd day here and there but never really lets its community get a good amount of time with them and they don't see smaller updates at all before they reach the public branch. As such I've seen issues like particular roles being impervious to bullets because their damage mess was confused with that of a tank. Tanks being destroyed in a single hit due to issues with their component hitboxes, and vehicles being completely unusable on certain maps due to being flung around on the map when they spawn in. My point here is that we're incredibly lucky to see features in the state that they are with Zomboid. And again, that testing process does take time, but without it you'd see a lot of potential new players get the wrong impression and thus a reducing in the player base. Again, I know that this video is probably going to be taken as me being a white knight for the developers of Zomboid, but just remember that we have an incredibly polished game here with a fantastic body community and an absolute plethora of features even in vanilla, and a well-rounded testing process as well. Yes, the game is taking a long time to make, but wouldn't you rather it be in a good state once it reaches the finish line than being half-baked and left with an empty feeling like some games that we've seen in the very same genre? Remember to keep up to date on their Discord, and if you've got any questions feel free to ask me too, I'm always happy to help. I'll always be available on Twitch as well to answer questions while I'm live. And one last thing, if you want to disagree with me in the comments, please feel free. I'm always up for healthy discussion. However, this is your forewarning that any comments considered derogatory or hateful will be removed. It's as simple as that. Have a good one, folks. Thanks for listening to my TED Talk, and I'll see you all in the next one.